It's Tuesday morning. I um, got up early, we did a meditation, went for a run with Giuseppe, an ocean dip, and also did some motivational stuff. Um, I just made myself a coffee. And um, there is, I realized in during Frugal February, there is something really sacred and precious about being able to enjoy a coffee in the privacy of your own home and just stop and slow down or slow down or stop and just be present, which you is harder, I think, to get in a cafe and is for me definitely impossible when I'm in the car, like running from cafe to car to the office to daycare. So this is such a precious um, discovery to, and I am loving it. So I've just popped home to have some lunch. I haven't spent any money today out of my weekly budget and I'm loving um, just not spending, not opening my wallet. It's a good feeling. However, I did pick up a dress, no, I didn't pick up a dress, I lay by a dress. I have a couple of events coming up and um, I realized I needed to get a new dress. And I this is something I've been planning and preparing for um, at least two months now. Um, I saw the dress a while ago and thought, yep, that's perfect. It ticks all the boxes, the color palette, the scheme, the style. Um, it's a really versatile piece that I can dress up and dress down. And uh, it uh, it's really suits my style. Anyway, I was supposed to go and pick this up in January, but just got distracted and um, ran out of time. So whilst I was in the area, I quickly ducked in um, to go and buy it. And I was you know, just trying it on to make sure it was perfect. And I realized, no, no, it's frugal February. So instead of buying the dress, even though I have the cash ready to go um, set aside for it, I decided to lay by it. Now, um, from my sugar budget app, I allow myself a monthly budget for both Rocco and myself for clothes. Um, so I took a percentage of that budget to use as a deposit on um, the lay by. Now, a lot of people say like, don't you get embarrassed asking if you lay by? And I say, hell no. I love lay buying. I love knowing that I'm not going to run the risk of that outfit or dress or item of clothing being sold out. Once you've lay bought it, it's yours. I also love the anticipation, the build up in um, you know paying that item off in cash, and then that delayed gratification, which is even better when than compared to when you buy something on the spot. Of when you make that final payment and you get to bring that beautiful item home and welcome it into your wardrobe. So if you are someone who loves shopping and tends to just put things on their, on your credit card and just you know, have really bad financial habits, please think about lay buying. And I have so many girlfriends who love lay buying more than me. So don't be ashamed or embarrassed asking to lay by. It is a fantastic solution to helping you stay on track on within your budget. Okay, so I'm just walking to my car and I just came up with the best frugal tip. If you are someone who loves going to art galleries and art exhibitions, but sometimes find them, them really expensive, you know, those admission prices, why don't you just go for a walk around like certain artistic areas and go and check out the local galleries. Where I am standing right now, I think there's at least four or five of them and they're all free. And you can even, if you want, just walk past and look in the windows because the art, particularly in the one behind me right now, is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna link everything in the video description box below, but, saving money gotta love it so i had to pick up a bracelet plate that was breaking and i forgot that i dropped it off they called me the other day to say it's ready and i was like oh crap it's frugal february um the thing is the bracelet actually is not worth much at all um i bought it in um beirut but it's got huge sentimental meaning to me and to me it's really precious so i've just picked it up i paid for it luckily it wasn't too expensive to get fixed but it's not factored in my budget, so that means it comes out of my weekly budget money. Um, and I'm trying to focus on the fact that I'm just grateful that I was able to take it to the shop to be fixed before it fell off and I lost it forever. So that money that I had to just pay for it to be fixed is well worth the investment because like, it means like, it gets to stay with me safely. And by the way, I would not be going to Chanel behind me. Definitely a danger zone.